add a GNSS or GPS point or feature. So first we have to connect to uh, or turn on our location services. Um, and so to do that, we need to go to, if you see here, this is our, where our location tools, geolocation tools are. We can go to settings. If we're using a GNSS receiver and we've got the GNSS status uh, app running, then we can make a connection here and use that as our, our GPS position. In this case, I don't have that. I'm just going to, I'm going to turn all these uh, off. I'm going to go back and enable the internal GPS. And you'll see then immediately the GPS turns on and we have a location. It's going to basically have a halo around to tell us uh, how accurate we are. Uh, and then the flashing uh, point is the actual location. Once the GP, once this is on, then if I want to capture a point at this GPS location, then I use the uh, the new geolocation tool. Click on that, select the uh, form or the data dictionary that I want to use, the feature that I want to collect, GPS hydrant. I'm going to enter uh, an ID, and then uh, I can give it a color. In this case, you typically would have more information to fill out. Customize this to match up to your needs. Click Save. And then uh, that feature has now been captured. Now, it may take it a few a few seconds for it to show up, but you can see that under under this point now, there is a GPS hydrant uh, feature that's been, that's been captured. If I disable GPS, then we can see this feature is now captured, and it's got the information that we... Uh, that we entered in the field, and that's how we capture a new uh, GPS uh, or GNSS feature.